Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Neo. 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 And Mysterious JG. Uh, so I played off, I did off screen, but for less than 10 minutes. I just wanted to get to the next level because we were really close to leveling up. <coughs> and I figure going up to a boss and losing would be a good way to lose a lot of Amrita points. So, like I said, less than 10 minutes of off screening just to get up to level 36. Also, had two start and stop videos because of this my recorder doing things that made me really worried that the videos were going to come out garbled. So I shut shut it down, restarted it. Hopefully it'll be working all right. Otherwise I'll have to reboot. <coughs> anyway, for now... My plan is to finish this stage alert that guy, which I didn't mean to do. That was my plan. Now I'm saying it was my plan. So is this going to stand there and wait for me, or is he going to resume his old pattern at some point? I suppose I could go around this way and get him. Because he's not doing a very good job of hunting for me. He's just kind of staring at where he thought I was, not moving and not using peripheral vision. Oh, fuck, somebody else found me. Okay, uh, I just need to get out of here in this case. My reputation level increased. Oh, because I did earth damage. You must have been shot in the back by your friend. That seems unfortunate. Because Lord knows I didn't uh, hit you. I'm just going to grab these uh, hot treats and cool eats and then <coughs> run away. Like I said, I'm going to have to get better at killing these first couple of guys. But I feel like I'm supposed to jump down here and stealth this guy. So you are the first one of these ranged guys ever who screwed me over by not running away when you were expected, running after me when I expected you to. Which way is he going to come? He should come this way. Okay, so... That's those two guys dealt with. Don't know, wasn't sure what point on his patrol this guy was. But I should be able to get him pretty handily. Damn it! Got impatient. I, I really need to get to, I feel like I really need to get to the boat with full health. I don't know if there will be a few enemies to deal with once I'm in there, and then a boss fight, or if it's straight to a boss fight, but I definitely want to have full health. So let's try this again, let's try to get full health. I mean, am I being obsessive compulsive here? I don't know. Particularly if I get there and a boss kills me, like, easily on the first try, and I went to all this trouble to get there with perfect health. When it look, when it becomes apparent that I just need to get there and fight it several times to learn its pattern or whatever.
video just finished? No, oh, it's found me. Luckily, I can block arrows. <coughs> and you can usually take those guys out when they're switching weapons. You, I can probably just ignore. Nope. Alright guys, this is it. We might finally be ready to clear this level. Or there could be way more shit to heck to come. We will find out. Oh, cinematic time. Maybe there's no boss. Maybe I just win the level automatically. I wouldn't complain. You look creepy. So they were take like a slave ship? Uh, you don't look friendly. <coughs> I wonder if I should have tried to put some buffs on before getting to you. got very much killed. So it looks like I am going to have to get pretty good at getting past those guys without uh, taking damage. Oh shit, I don't have my yokai spirit either. Hopefully it appears outside of the boat. Because this means I won't be able to use a uh, living weapon, which I probably should have busted out there. It'd be really nice if I could somehow get my spirit back before that boss fight, but I'm starting to think that I needed to do that on the first try if I was going to use that tactic. allowed to use my uh, spirit animal, but uh, this is why I didn't want to waste a bunch of Amarita, because I had a feeling that this boss fight wasn't going to go my way the first try. I can't even use that, like, fire. Oh, so it's unblockable. I need to be evading. Yeah, oh, there was a spirit there. Well, fuck, it's gone now. So I have the different ending. I got my spirit back, I lost all my Amarita, but it won't be fully leveled up to where I can do living weapon. This is gonna take, this seems like it might take a few tries here. I'm sure that I have enough stats to do this the right, oh, I took fall damage. I didn't realize I was taking fall damage. I was, it was pretty minor fall damage. Oh, that was sweet. So in the room, my corpse could be found. Let's see if I can do defense up and lightning damage before I go in there and if they'll still be in effect.
trying to take an elixir. <coughs> well, that was starting to go somewhere good. Okay, you have to time your attack because it slows down your your fall. Well, I'm a Bowman adept. Although I couldn't pull off the same trick as last time with this guy. here I think oh shit I forgot to do my I went right into his attack there Dodged it. I thought I did anyway. God damn it. So hopefully beating this guy will not lead to a second form because I'm having a hard enough time as it is. But you gotta roll out of his way. Oh man, I gotta I gotta start using my elixirs wisely. I'm down to 148 left. I don't think leveling up is going to be the key here. I think I just have to actually learn how to freaking dodge this guy's attacks. I don't think bow and arrow is going to do it either. This time, let's use some of my stuff before I go in. Let's grab that corpse and hope that it's close by to where we start. Damn it! Damn. I was... I swear I was doing my little roll dodge thing. But no, that's it. You gotta... It's... Don't panic. He he doesn't attack that quickly. You just have to 
evade uh, the big attacks. So you can't block them. You gotta, you gotta dodge out. Makes sense when fighting a big giant demon guy that you wouldn't necessarily be able to just parry everything. Part of me wants to switch to my uh, other weapon, but it seems like this is a bad time to start trying to learn a new chapter. <laughs> this guy's pretty wimpy, actually. He only does uh, one big hit when he, yeah, he gets up to you. seem like it's really hurting him too much, but where's my spirit at? Where's that? Who's a health? I also haven't been able to find my spirit. There it was. A little late. Because I kind of... I think I'm going to need to use Living Weapon to finish this thing off. I'm just not good enough at dodging his attacks. But Living Weapon takes time to charge. It's like at zero. I don't think it charges from killing enemies. I think it charges from time passing. Maybe it charges from killing enemies, because it looks like it got a pretty big boost from that. <gasps> Living weapon's funny, though. I mean, it'll... You can still get killed by, despite what the description seemed to say, I feel, I feel like you can still get killed by stuff. It just, <coughs> you do a lot of damage. I don't know if you stun lock guys. I guess I'd have to go around killing guys stealthily for, uh, to try to recover enough spirit to use that, use that attack though. If I want to see, that would help me. Because it does, yeah, I think maybe it, it is. Is that what's bringing it back? The, uh. Oh, shoot, I might have more than one guy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to get back uh, enough spirit to do that attack. I'm thinking that'll. That might be a thing we need to do. And then go save. At this point, if I saved, I would probably kill enough guys on my way to him. To have uh, that spiritual attack thing. <coughs> I should figure out if there's a different jutsu I should be using too. Instead of that lightning charm, what else could I use? My uh <coughs> what other powers have I got that I could be using? A wind, water, lightning, resistance, steel. Raises defense. Maybe I need to go in and learn the one for raising offense if I can do that yet. Reduces enemy attack power. Do 
that. So that reduces enemy attack and defense. That's probably worth doing. So devigorate and get rid of lightning and do weaken. Then I would need to change my uh, weaken, get rid of the antidote one because I'm not going to be using it. And do devigorate. So now I've got Weaken, Devigorate, Seal. Can you steal before I go in, get in, quickly use uh, Weakness, and then trigger my crazy attack. And I won't be doing lightning damage. But I don't know if the lightning damage was helping. I don't think he was getting hit with this paralysis effect. Spirit meter now. Oh, I wait for him to do an attack. I was being impatient there. I'd, I would dearly love to beat this before uh, the end of the video. I could also try the big poison status that I've got. Okay, that'll up my defense, and that should stay. I wanted to get that off so I could knock him down and, and have a minute of peace. Because I think, I'm starting to think now it is really going to take that um, Guardian Spirit leveled up. I think I'm going to need that. I think I'm going to need that living weapon attack. There may have been some luck involved in hitting that guy before, because he starts racing around immediately. I suppose I could switch over to uh, Kusigari, or whatever they're called, the chain weapon that I've been using as a secondary. It might be better. Big, big slow hits from the axe, though. Kind of what I've been using. It's what I'm used to. All right, so I don't think I have a very good chance of winning this time, but I need to go in there and get my try to get my spirit back.
Hey, I was throwing my thing, my talisman guy. I dodged. I know I dodged there. soon I'm getting freed from this mortal coil again both guns and both guns and cannons I don't think they are the thing that I'm going to be able to use to beat this guy come <laughs> <coughs> off to the right, so I shoot it where he was, and he's not there anymore. Makes sense. So getting my spirit animal back didn't really help me there, because now I would have it if I hadn't used it. But, I mean, it did allow me to use those talismans, which did some damage and occasionally bought me a second. trying to take an elixir. I didn't think his attack had enough range. But I got freed from this mortal coil, so that's a thing. I do need to grind before I can beat this thing. Maybe I suck that bad. I feel like I've come close a few times. I'm not really paying much attention to its stamina bar, just trying not to die. Forget which button is which, which is not a good thing. I was briefly worried that I was going to beat the boss too early in the video and then not have enough to fill another video because I want to kind of call it a session after I beat the boss. Guess that wasn't really a real concern after all. <coughs> well, I'm a martial arts adept. So I should see what if I have new reputation points to spend. Oh, I have several. So durability of living weapon. Increase that. Received elemental damage. Decrease that. And then human close combat, damage fall, item drop, elixir. Human close combat have been a, a thing. Although the demons are the more dangerous enemies. The bosses so far have pretty much been demons. Go figure.
So I don't know for sure that these are doing anything to him. Oh, it does show it. It looks like it does. Out of stamina, pretty much. Didn't mean to throw a kunai. I thought I was using elixir. Probably would have died anyway. Oh, man. May I just keep doing this until I win? I don't know how. I mean, I'm already over the length of the video. I, I don't really want to have a video where we accomplish nothing. Guess that's going to happen in this game. But I also just want to have this done. I was that time, but it seemed like I was in the fight for a while. I haven't been using Galnut Broth. this. No! Damn it!
Mission complete, so I can freaking I can freaking call it a video here soon. Got a little money over here. We got a full uh, living animal meter or living weapon meter. It doesn't seem to matter anymore, but don't get killed. Don't go into the flames, VG. <laughs> that would be bad. Go forward. Move ahead. This one, the mission proceed. Yes. Ooh. Well, because what I really want to do now is go replay this mission and see if all the plot stuff also plays. Or if that only plays the first time. Because that'll that'll impact how I can allow myself to off-screen. So if I want to off-screen a mission I haven't already done because I don't think it has plot, but then it does have plot. Who are you? Well, anyway. A foreigner? You are skill against Oni. It's implicit. Oh, you're a foreigner? I, I thought he was a foreigner. With English. Oh, he's skilled with English is great. Matter of fact, he's brilliant. My name is Hanzo Hattori. And you are? Oh, you could like a swordsmith and call me William. In the future, or wait. I'm no. here in pursuit of someone. An enemy, perhaps? Hunting a person down in a strange run will not be easy. What are you, Shokasugi? If you allow me your strength in fighting Oni, I will help you in return. Well, you didn't help me much against that Oni, but okay. Sounds fair. That's right. Well, then. <laughs> Adorable. Dawn is breaking. Morning is broken like the first morning. Come. I didn't mean to, but the new sea covers. Who knows how much plot stuff there could be. I may end up splitting this video after the fact, but... Uh, I'm sure I'll, I'll eventually do that. I need to get a title card for this series, but... I'm hoping I can just get to a point where I can save. But I'm also kind of hoping there's some plot here, because I feel like we've earned a bit. Although meeting Hattori Hanzo is uh, it's a pretty big deal. We saw him, some chick, and William running around a lot in the, like, oh, in the, you know, title cinematics. <coughs> so presumably we'll meet one other main ally, and that'll pretty much be it. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, so it's Mitsunari and Tokugawa here. So I guess I'm not siding with the Ishida then. Mm -hmm. Well, that's interesting. Hey, I thought you spoke good English. What's going on now? <coughs> well, I guess every demon I slay without dying will bring me a step closer, sure. Kanbei Karada, I assume. Boy, my samurai warrior's uh, semi-knowledge of what's going on in Japan sure will help here. Mission complete. So much for that foreign merchant I've been tracking. Oh wait, this is probably meant to be Hanzo talking. So much for that foreign merchant I've been tracking. I was hoping to capture him and use him as a bargaining chip. But he's dead now. One reaps what they sow. Isle of Demons. Okay. Uh, I got a match lock. Uh, I got some ammo. It's all good. You acquired a Himorogi fragment. If you use one during a mission, you will lose all Amarita. However, they can be retrieved by canceling the mission. Okay. Mission basic action controls has been added to the dojo. The mission Applied Action Controls has been added to the dojo. The mission The Way of the Ninja Novice has been added to the dojo. Twilight Mission The Blessed Village Unlocked. Submission Death to Bandits. Starting Point. Main Mission Deep in the Shadows.
so one thing I definitely want to do is save. Then what happens if you go to the starting point? This is a high-risk, high-reward Twilight mission. Enemies are stronger, but you also have the chance to obtain strong equipment. You can only play a Twilight mission when Twilight comes. I don't know what that means. Shrine, Blacksmith, Dojo, Storehouse. Level up, make offerings. Buy and sell items. Participate in tutorial and training missions. And Storehouse. But how do I replay the mission I already did? I was pretty sure there was a way to do that. Bandits level two. Main mission is level three. I was pretty sure there was a way to do that, and now I'm not sure. Hidden treasure. Tory Gate Dojo. Well, I'm trying to decide if I want to call it a long video or um, I don't think I can level up, no. Because what we want to do is the Death to Bandits mission, probably. Oh, Isle of Demons. Okay, so Isle of Demons is the mission that we did, right? Submission, Death of Bandits, main mission, Isle of Demons. For many years I was a pirate until England hired me to collect the miraculous stones called Amrita. When I learned the Amrita were responsible for victory over Spain, the authorities imprisoned me, and a man named Edward Kelly stole Suarisi away from me, whatever her name was. Guided by a compass, Suarisi left me. I secured myself aboard a merchant ship, the Liefde. After a long voyage, I arrived at Japangu, the land of gold. Kelly is here somewhere, and I'm going to find him. Looks like I'm, I missed one spirit guy. Alright, so I'm going to start this mission over again and see what happens. Kuroshima is a tiny island off the coast of Usuki in Kyosho's Bungo province. There is little in the way of usable land, with coastline rapidly giving way to cliffs and mountains. Clinging to its edge is the smallest of fishing villages, its residents seeking out subsistence farming on plots carved out from the hills. Their frugal lives stand in stark contrast to the village elder, whose opulent mansion perches atop the island's tallest peak, strangely oversized for the small island which it overlooks. So will we see all the cinematics, I wonder? No. Well, we didn't see the opening cinematic. The other question... <clears throat> so guys, this basically means I can off-screen all I want here, but I am going to have to beat that boss again to clear the level. Uh, so I want to see if the Kadama blessings are all they're already unlocked. So I'm missing one, which I'll have to go find just for my own edification. Okay, so it resets in the sense that the ladder is still, is knocked down. Is not down. Because remember, I came over here and knocked down this ladder. So... I guess we'll just have this be a long video then, uh, now that I'm set up for off-screening. I guess I should have done some tutorial stuff first. But there's no, pl there's no way for me to get out. I can... There's an item that I can use that will surrender all, um... Splinter of a sacred tree, use a holy vessel and religious, use up all your amaretta, but allows you to quit a mission and return to the starting point. Yeah, so this, this is the thing I can use. I don't know how I get more of these, I guess it's said. 
Use this item to commit Harikiri. You will lose everything but retain your honor. You will lose all Amarita and return to the nearest shrine. Hmm. He's one of from the heads of demons. Yeah, I mean, I could hang around for another couple of minutes and <coughs> make you guys watch and <laughs> split this video after the fact. Well, if I split it in half now, it would be 23 minutes. Eh, I'm just, looking, just thinking. I'm just going to make this a long video. All right, folks, this is an extra long video. But hopefully it was an extra good video, too. On the Mysterious JT, I want to thank you guys for watching. When we come back, uh, uh, we will not be in this level. I'm just going to goof around in this level um, just for funsies. And um, eventually we won't be in this level anymore. We'll be continuing the story. Bye for now.